Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Scrutiny Review Panel 3, which is on COVID-19 inequalities and recovery. My name is Councillor Faye Block, and I'm um, chairing the meeting this evening. Um, and we also have Councillor Seema Kuma, who's vice chair of the um, panel. Um, I uh, will go straight to the agenda and start on item one, which is apologies for absence and substitutions. I have received apologies from Councillor Gurmit Mann and Councillor Chris Summers. Um, are there any other apologies to receive? Um, I've not received any at that. Thank you, Harjeet. If we go on to item two, there are no urgent matters. Um, item three, there are no matters to be considered in private. Item four, can I ask if any panel members have any uh, declarations of interest? None, that's great. So if we go on to item five minutes of um, our last meeting, are there any comments? No comments, so I'll take that as uh, agreed. Great, thanks everyone. So if we move on to item six, which is the draft final report of um, our scrutiny review panel uh, this year. Um, hopefully everyone has had a chance to go through that. Um, I'm going to first of all open up to, uh, if there's any comments anybody would like to add and then we can go through the recommendations. So um, please uh, use your hands uh, icon if you have any comments. Okay, great. So moving on to the recommendations, I'll just read through them. Um, if anyone has any um, comments. Oh, Councillor Kuma. Yeah, no, it's fine. I was just going to say, uh, where you've come on to the recommendations, I was just going to say where we have um, under R3, um, could we, or even R1, um, could we include sort of, say, borough-wide rather than um, you know, we've got the Southall Jobs Partnership, the Southall Community Alliance, um, yeah. and youth engagement, borough-wide, because it has affected the young people, you know, I mean, they were the ones who suffered and could not get into jobs and, you know, obviously on the education side as well. So ju just that addition, if it fits in, just say borough-wide youth engagement. Yeah. Please. Yep. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, um, Councillor Kuma. Councillor Malcolm. Thank you. Yeah, I, I agree with the seven recommendations and just have two comments, one about recommendation one and seven. Um, one, I know a previous scrutiny committee about four or five years ago that I was on, um, this topic was raised. I just want to make sure that although we hopefully will agree the recommendation, um, I do think this is something that can um help a lot of, of disadvantaged groups um and we need to sort of make sure we're pro, uh, sort of proactive on this rather than being probably passive which i think happened four or five years ago sort of hoping it would happen and item seven i think we've all noticed that um, hotels and office blocks have become less in need even five or six years ago and certainly with covid that's really had uh, an effect as the report demonstrates so um, i agree with all the recommendations but those are my two sort of specific comments so thank you thank you um councillor malcolm uh, mr bazran yeah thank you chair I, I just wanted to make a a general comment really about uh, one of the reasons why i'm part of the group which is to sort of represent a, a voluntary sector voice not just in southall but across ealing and um so i i agree with the recommendations i think they're very helpful um, and it would be nice uh, to just recognise officially the the contribution that uh, community sector, voluntary sector, and faith sector organisations played uh, in the really dark days, uh, early days of the pandemic lockdown, and uh, of course with the kind of collaboration of uh, Ealing together uh, and the support from council officers, it was a, it was a mixture which worked really well, and which 
in some cases is, is still around and it's still and still working. So uh, it's just really just to reiterate, as I said, you know, voluntary sector did a great job uh, working in partnership with the council. And I hope that some, that's a model that we could carry on working uh, into the future. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Mr. Barrison. And I, I echo your um, comments there. I do believe that, um, you know, COVID was a terrible time, but it really did highlight the best in our communities. And I think we saw that across the borough, didn't we, with was it was the food bags, the food deliveries, neighbours setting up um, groups to uh, look after each other as well. So um, thanks to all, everyone in the voluntary sector who did um, so much to help our communities. Um, do I have any other comments? So, um, uh, well, we've kind of gone through um, some of the um, recommendations. Um, if I... Um, so if I, I mean, the, the consensus seems to be that all of the uh, recommendations are agreed. So um, I won't go through them all now, um, but um, yeah, if, if we just put that forward. Yep, Is, does anybody have any disagreements with any of the recommendations? Nope, great. Okay, fantastic. So really that was... Um, <laughs> The substantial part of our uh, um, meeting, uh, Councillor Malcolm, your hands up. Oh, okay. um, sorry, I've just uh, uh, unwinded myself. There isn't an item on the agenda for this, but I just wanted to make sure before we finished, because it sounds like we we're about to finish. I just want to thank on behalf of my political party, the Lib Dems, um, your work as chair and the vice chair and the huge number of officers actually in this particular area. There's far more in this scrutiny committee than most other scrutiny committees I've sat on over the last 10 years. So thank you for all those people and yourself um, for the work that you've done this year. And, on similar committees previously. Oh, thank you, Councillor Malcolm. Um, yeah, uh, I, I will. I will go on to my thanks in a second. I, I did want to, uh, to just ask if um, members had any um, suggestions for future scrutiny topics going into uh, 2022, 2023. I don't see any hands up. If you do have any, uh, oh. Mr. Bazran. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm I'm using my phone today, so I couldn't quite click on the the electronic. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I think something which underlies uh, underpins a lot of the uh, discussion around inequalities is about poverty, and you know we had after probably a decade of austerity, really started seeing how bad things were two years ago. But of course, the pandemic's taken it to the next level and exacerbated and amplified really a lot of the kind of uh, poverty, in work poverty particularly that affects residents in the borough. So I, I hope that there may be some more detailed scrutiny about, about the impacts yeah. of poverty what, and what we could do around the borough to help people who are really, really struggling. This cost of living is current and contemporary, but I think there are underlying, underlying factors that we need to look at. Yeah, I, I think that's a very good suggestion. I think um, perhaps around the cost of living crisis that we've, what we're all very much aware of at the moment, and we know that, you know, come um, the autumn, we'll deepen even more. But you know, um, from this month, we'll see uh, national insurance <laughs> contributions increasing. So yes, I think thank thank you for that suggestion, Councillor Kuma. Uh, okay, no, you actually took the exact words that I'd written down: cost of living. <laughs> So, so, you know, really, that will cover a, a really large uh, subject. But I'm really keen from what I've been hearing and from what I've experienced. And, you know, I did quite a lot of work, in fact, a lot during the COVID period, you know, helping as many people as possible and, you know, the hospitals and, um, you know, providing equipment, which even the council didn't have. But, you know, it's all worked out. And that was part of our duty. We all did. I'm sure that many others did a lot more. But um, I would like what I've picked up is 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 youth engagement. Again, I come back to the same thing: is that there are pockets of people who who continue to have difficulties, and I think we just not quite reaching there. So I think that would be um, something that you know I, I I really would like to see specifically. And there are uh, youth groups that 
want to get engaged and they are doing good work, but, you know, they're just there. And I think, you know, Jan Pal, you, you do, you know, a considerable amount and, and yours is Barawide. I, I, I do agree that because, you know, I, I, I think you copy in all the councillors uh, in the borough with, with, you know, with whatever you're doing, with any events you're holding. And, and I see that there's a wide range, but I think um, uh, what you have raised is also good. But, but something along those two lines would be, um, would be great. And even, you know, I mean, post COVID has not finished. COVID is still, you know, the pandemic is still very much there. It might come in different forms, but um, I would like to see, you know, perhaps the recovery thing continue, yeah. uh, to be quite honest, because if we just close it, yeah. it will, it will close it, okay? And then the voice cannot be heard. And uh, voices of people that, that, that really need the help. And there are plenty out there. So th there, is, there, there is much more that one can do and, and we could continue doing that. But I think I did send stuff in. I'm, I'm not sure whether it, uh, it, it actually reached. Maybe I've done it on some other um committee meeting but those are those are mine um uh, at the moment and and is it okay to say my what i want to say about you now or are you going to uh, oh well, please do okay, <laughs> okay. Thank you. well you know i mean it, it, it's been a great year actually and and i've really enjoyed working with you and and the rest of the committee and and you know the officers everybody's been super efficient They've come back with detailed information. Um, and, you know, sometimes we are a bit in our pre-agenda meetings. We do put a lot of questions to them. And, and I think they've been addressed and nobody's kind of, you know, come back with any, any negative response. It's been prompt. It's been detailed. And they've taken any issues that concerns we've raised uh, on board. And I think that's so helpful because we do rely on them. We're not the experts and everything, and we do rely on, on, on the work they do year in, year out. And, and um, you know, you've been an excellent chair. Um, and, you know, you've been very reasonable. You've been, you know, you've given everybody the opportunity to speak and listen. Um, and um, I shall, you know, miss you when you're not there. Oh, thank you, Councillor Kuma. That's very kind of you to say. And yes, um, uh, yeah, I, I'd like to also uh, give my thanks to the officers because I agree with you. They have put in an immense amount of work and we know how hard they worked over um, lockdown and that period where everybody was struggling. And, uh, you know, I think the council did uh, and council officers in particular did a great job to support our communities and, and looking at the work that they're putting in to address some of the structural barriers that got highlighted because of it has been um, great work. And so I'd like to thank all the members as well for all your input. And um, obviously I'm not standing again. So it has been such a pleasure to work with everyone across the whole political spectrum over the last four years. So uh, for all of you who are standing again, I really wish you all the best and of course, um, yeah, it'll be exciting for me on the 6th to see the results without, uh, without being too concerned about it. So, no, thank you, everyone, for your work. And, uh, and in particular, Hardy, you've been, you. you've been great. You've really helped us keep on track and you've been so um, helpful with the report. So, yeah, I, 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 I thoroughly um, give all my thanks, I'm sure, from all the members on that uh, respect. Um, I do agree with um, Councillor Kuma's point about continuing this because the recovery feels like it's only just beginning. The pandemic really did hit our communities. And, you know, um, I, I think that uh, especially with some of the work around the qualities and education, the uh, recoveries won't be short term. You know, it will take a lot longer. So um, if OSC does decide, I, I would also recommend um, continuing to look at the recoveries from this period. Um, so I will just on that note say that if there aren't any other comments, I think we are done. And um, hopefully this will go to um, OSC for them to agree and, um, and then to Cabinet. And I hope that some of these recommendations are put forward. And um, I wish everyone the best um, going forward.
the meeting thank is coming. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. And thank you, Hadid, uh, uh, for being so patient. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Good luck.